everyone. Today we are sewing the new cell phone buddy from N Designs. This is the first mini wallet in a series that is coming out that is designed to adhere to the back of your cell phone if you wish or to serve as a small standalone wallet. There are two versions. Both have four card slots but one has an ID window. There is a version that has a straight edge at the bottom and also one that has the notch and you can choose whether you want to attach a wristlet strap to it or if you just want to leave it as it is on its own. These are so cute, really great for just carrying around a couple of extra things with you when you're out and about. There are going to be three patterns total coming out in this series that I will be able to show you. They are skill builders, so the things that we learn in this first one you will add upon as we do each of the other tutorials. The tricky parts are the top stitching around these final snaps and then working perhaps with a different type of material if you haven't done a clear ID window before. But they're quite simple sews. If you can sew a straight line, you can definitely do it. Cut your pattern out yourself. Use the SVG files, however you want to go about doing it. They're really fast. They're really fun. And you are going to have a great time making these cute little wallets. So let's get going. For today's tutorial, it is assumed that everything is already cut and ready to go. You will need your main pieces, your strap piece, and your two lining pieces. As far as hardware, you will need a set of magnetic snaps, and if you're putting the strap on your cell phone buddy, you will also need a swivel hook, a corset ring, and the relevant rivets. If you're doing rivets, you also need your punch and your rivet setting tool, and you'll need a couple of different types of tape different widths of double-sided tape, as well as duct tape, and some painter's tape will come in handy if you have it too. I am going to be demonstrating on the ID window version with the straight bottom. So I have my clear vinyl for my ID window, and working from the back, I'm going to apply double-sided tape above and below the top credit card slot. And I'm also going to put double-sided tape around this ID window. Take your piece of clear vinyl and peel off this double-sided tape around that opening. If you're not doing the ID window, you can skip through this part. We're now going to place that clear vinyl over that opening and press that in place. Before we top stitch these credit card slots, a little trick is to grab a piece of your painter's tape and we're just going to put that with the flat edge up against the edge of our credit card openings and then that will help us to get a nice even start and end point with our top stitching for the upper and lower credit card slots. The painter's tape is good because it doesn't leave a sticky residue that you will get if you use a different type of tape. And then I will be top stitching just below this lower card slot, card slots two and four, and also around this ID window. Taking nice long tails to start and to end, sewing one eighth of an inch below that credit card opening there. Stopping at that painter's tape, taking long tails, and starting again below the other card slot opening. Taking care of that clear vinyl that does not want to feed through very well. So you may need to just manually help your machine get those layers through. I just like to pivot gently around the curve to get a nice even stitch line. Meet back up with where you started and we're just going to pull those tails through to the back and tie those threads off. And just tie off and trim each of those knots. At this point there should be five total. Two at either end of the card slots and one for the ID window. Now 
Working from the back, we're just going to put a strip of our thicker double-sided tape between those two card slot openings. And now we are going to put our linings onto those openings. Peel off just the bottom double-sided tape, leaving the top piece in place. Take your lining piece and you're just going to press it down about one quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch beyond that card slot opening. So sticking it down here below where that opening is and press that in place. Flipping it back over, we are now going to sew below this card slot piece the same way as we did card slots two and four between those painter's tape lines that we made. With that second row of top stitching done, we will flip it over and tie those threads the same way as we did for the lower line of stitches, and then we can remove that painter's tape if you used that. And if you want to, you can just put a little bit of fray check on those knots there. Take your double-sided tape again, and we are going to put it in this seam allowance below that line of top stitching that is sewing that card lining piece to the exterior of our cell phone buddy. Then peel that away, and we are going to fold that lining down and press it in place. Grab your ruler and we're now going to draw a line at the bottom of this piece that will mark where we will fold these card slots. What I then like to do is just grab a thin ruler, place that at the line and then fold the card slots up over that and put a nice crease at the bottom of those card slots. Then peel this top piece of double-sided tape that we placed earlier, keeping that bottom fold in place. We're just going to smooth that lining onto that double-sided tape. Then before we go any further, with that just in place with the double-sided tape, grab a card and just check the depth of that pocket. And that card is going all the way in and all the way in on that one also. And when you are happy, you can just trim this extra off. I trim first with my rotary cutter and then flip it over and just trim a little bit extra off the top there so that it doesn't poke out between the final layers. And then we can set that piece aside for now. Grab your exterior piece and we're going to place the socket portion of our snap. We are going to be working from the flat end. I like to place my markings on the fabric side of my vinyl, but you can place them on the other side. We're measuring one and a quarter inches in from the short edge and centered in the middle of this piece Just make a mark, grab your washer and mark that again. And if you were reinforcing that with a piece of Decaville, you can mark that on that also. I like to cut my slits for my snaps using my seam ripper, but however you choose to do it is fine. Using the socket portion, just put it through those holes we made. Put a piece of stabilizer on there. Then your washer. Fold the prongs out. They sit flatter if you fold them out compared to folding them in and you have enough space here to put them both to the outside. And take a piece of duct tape just to cover up those prongs, which keeps them in place 
and protects the layer of material that will be on the back here. And press that down. Now, take your other exterior piece and we can place the stud section of our snap. Working from the back, grab your ruler. We're going to draw in 3 8 of an inch from the angled side and from the end. And that is going to give us the placement of our snap. Take your washer. And we're going to mark that here also. Place the stud portion of your snap. Put your decava on. You may need to trim that a little because of the angles here. Place your washer. There is enough room for these prongs to fold out. Press that down and again, cover that with a small piece of duct tape. Taking care not to get into the seam allowance that we will be sewing around the outside of this cell phone buddy. And pressing that on. We're now going to join these two pieces together. Take both widths of double-sided tape and on the exterior piece that doesn't have the card slots, we're going to go around with the thinner double-sided tape, one eighth of an inch. As tempting as it may be to use your thicker double-sided tape for this part, do not put the thick double-sided tape around the edge of your exterior as that will make it hard for you to put your cards into these bottom openings. So just around the edge of the piece that doesn't have the card slots. And then using your thicker double-sided tape, you already have a piece in the middle here. We're also going to place it in this flat part. And now we will adhere these wrong sides together, lining up the straight edges and the curves and pressing those two layers together using the double-sided tape. And now we can go and sew around the entire outside of the body. Sewing at one eighth of an inch. You can use a zipper foot if you are concerned about the clearance around your magnetic snap here with a long stitch length and starting with long tails, we are going to sew around the entire outside of the body. It is easier to sew with the card slot side up because of the placement of this magnetic snap. being careful when you're going around this side of the magnetic snap that is on the reverse here that may try to stick to your sewing machine. Finishing back up where we started, take your long tails and pull them all through to be tied off. Then grab a needle and just tuck those threads back in between the two layers of vinyl or cork. Do a final check and just make sure that you are happy with how your cell phone buddy is lined up. If you see a little bit of extra overhang, if your pieces weren't perfectly aligned, you can just trim that back. Sometimes the bulk of the snap or the pockets depending on the stretchiness of your vinyl, can cause it to just be a little shy of the edge there. So you can neaten that up if you like. Now you have a couple of options here. You can be done, and that is your cell phone buddy ready to go. You can put tape on the back and then attach that to the back of your cell phone. You can edge coat the edges of your finished cell phone buddy or you can attach a wristlet strap. I am going to attach a wristlet strap, so if you would like to do that, stay with me 
and we'll get that done now. Grab your wristlet strap and the hardware, as well as a pen and a ruler, and we're going to draw a line down the center of our wristlet strap piece. Take your double-sided tape, and we're going to place that over the top of that line that we just drew. Remove the backing, then fold the raw long sides into that line. I like to start at the middle and work my way out, making sure I'm folding the vinyl directly across so that it doesn't end up with any skews in the finished strap. Pushing those raw edges together where they meet at that line so that you don't have a gap. Then I like to grab my seam roller and press those folds down nice and flat. And I'm now just going to sew around this entire strap at 1 8 of an inch. If you find that your strap still has a little bit of a wave in it, you can place it in a cold heat press or put some books or something else heavy on that and leave it for a little while to try to get it to flatten out also. I've now top stitched around this strap and tucked in my threads and I need to attach my swivel. Choose which end of your strap you would like to fold over to the front and then place your swivel on the end of your strap. Fold that end over to enclose the other raw end of the strap, place a clip, and then we are going to punch a hole and place our rivet. Centering that up between your top stitch lines, punching through three total layers of strap. And pop that rivet in. Then you can go and set that rivet. For placing your corset ring, I like to use the ring itself as a guide for where my hole will go. Centered above your ID slot or wherever you prefer. Make sure that you're not punching a hole through your top stitching line. Grab a pen and mark that. And then you can punch that hole also. Place your corset ring over the hole that you have punched and put the flat side of your rivet through the back, the curved side on the front, and you will then rivet that in place also. If you are going to be edge coating your cell phone buddy, you would do the edge coating before you would set that rivet. I've now riveted those in place. And there we have it. That is our finished cell phone buddy. So you can pop some cards in, attach your swivel clasp, and then if you choose to, you can adhere the back here to your cell phone, or you can just leave it as is, and you'll be good to go. Thanks, everyone.